Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your miners have practically built them yourself. <laughs> For conspicuous gallantry and heroic achievement in aerial combat above and beyond the call of duty as commanding officer of Marine Fighting Squadron 223 during operations against enemy Japanese forces in the Solomon Island area, August through September of 1942, repeatedly risking his life in aggressive and daring attacks, Major Smith led his squadron against a determined force greatly superior in numbers personally shooting down 16 Japanese planes between the 21st of August and 15th of September 1942. In spite of the limited combat experience of many of his pilots of his squadron, they achieved the notable record of a total of 83 enemy aircraft destroyed in this period, mainly attributed to the thorough training under Major Smith and to his intrepid and inspiring leadership, his bold tacket tactics and indomitable fighting spirit and the valiant and zealous fortitude of the men of his command not only rendered the enemy's attacks ineffective and costly to Japan but contributed to the security of our advanced base. His loyal and courageous devotion to duty sustains and enhances the finest traditions of the US Naval Service. Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv. Welcome to the Kit Hoarder Stash. And today we have an aircraft. I know that's kind of rare for me to be reviewing aircraft. I do it once in a while. I'm excited about this one because, well, I'm looking forward to getting this one built sometime this spring. Let's take a look at it, wherever it is. It is the Trumpeter 32nd scale Grumman F4F-4 Wildcat. Now this kit's been out for quite some time, and well, I want to say oof, a good 20 years at least. I remember when it first came out, the cowling was uh, was <laughs> was not the right shape. It was terrible, but they have since corrected that. They had to. The modeling world uh, was up in arms about the whole thing. So anyway, here's this. We are going to have some photo etched parts in here. And this, and I have a specific reason for wanting to build this. This is part of my Medal of Honor, what I call my Medal of Honor collection. I have um, certain aircraft and, and things that have to do with the Medal of Honor. And this one is no exception. This I'm going to build uh, John L. Smith. He was a uh, Marine pilot. Uh, leader of the, uh, I want to say the 332nd or 322nd. Anyway, um, fighter group in uh, Guadalcanal. I'll check that and we'll make sure we have that before the end of the show. But anyway, um, this guy, he was, uh, wow, he was over a triple ace, um, was the leader of this, uh, the, the Cactus Air Force at a very critical time in uh, the Guadalcanal battle. So let's take a look at this. Here's our instructions. And your parts break down. Looks like we're going to have a film with the uh, instrument cluster on it. So here's building the interior, the cockpit. Pretty detailed it looks like. Building the engine and the engine mounts. Tail wheel, uh, rudder, getting the fuselage halves together. Looks pretty, pretty straightforward. Going to be definitely some painting involved in that uh, in that cockpit. And there's our ailerons, our landing gear. Oh, cool! We got the machine guns separately. That's pretty neat. Putting those in the wings. And the ammunition boxes. All right, I like that. 
And then it looks like the, we can do the folding wing if we so desire to do the folding wing. So yeah, quite a bit of, quite a bit of detail is what I'm seeing here. And getting your wings on, your wheel, wheels, um, drop tank, and finally the cowling. And there we go. So it looks like we have um, a couple of options for the markings. We'll see what we've got in the way of decals here in a moment. So let's uh, let's crack this puppy open. Let's see what we've got, shall we? I remember when this first came out. I was working at Douglas Models years and years ago, and well, we all got them. We all bought one. Aha! Uh -huh, here's our 50 cows, and they look they look good. Yeah, those 50s look really good. Wow, the details on this is nice. Um, I do see some uh, injector pin marks on the back side of the landing gear. That's a little disappointing because those will have to be filled and repaired. Um, other than that, there's good detail in it. Good detail on the wheels for sure. All right, here we got the firewall. Details on that look really good. And the uh, details on the engine, the crankcase, the fins on the air-cooled engine look good. Typical uh, trumpeter, a lot of parts. So if you like to build, that's the thing with trumpeter, if you are a builder, man, uh, trumpeter kits are for you because they <laughs> They seem to break down their parts in such a way that uh, you're you're building a lot. And I'm a finisher. I'm not a big big time builder, so this is going to be a challenge for me. Looks like we got an option of a couple of different seats for some reason. That's interesting. Um, the rivet detail and the panel lines look really good on the. Uh, on the fuselage they do they look really good engraved panel lines and rivet detail very nice Ooh, the stick looks very good very detailed so yeah I mean nothing that's uh, that's earth-shattering here we'll see how the fit is when we go to put it together and here we got the wings It's a plastic okay and again the wing detail looks very very good very nice very nice um, here are the boxes for the 50 cal and the machine guns the machine guns and the ammo thank you by the way uh, do you know where the term uh, the whole nine yards came from it, it was fighter pilots in World War II um, and when you gave somebody the whole nine yards, that meant emptying your, your belt, your, all your ammo. You know why? Because nine yards, um, nine times three is what? 27. That's how long an ammo belt was, was 27 feet. So the whole nine yards was emptying your, your complete belt into your opponent. So there you go. These were a well-armored aircraft with a decent speed. And they performed very well against the Zero in certain, they couldn't turn with a Zero, but they sure could dive. I believe they could climb a little faster and they could definitely dive uh, faster because they were heavier. Um, but they had these 850 caliber machine guns. So that was a, a real plus. So this looks like the cowling flaps. I'm not going to take that off, but that looks really good. Um, propeller looks really nice. 
and of course really good detail here on the ailerons and the flaps. I'm not going to take the clear parts out, but we have an instrument cluster uh, with the holes. So I think that little sheet, we'll find that sheet, it goes right behind it. And good detail on nice clear um, canopy and detail on it looks good. Here is a nice clear... <laughs> Uh, not sure why they did this. I guess so you can see the detail of the engine. I don't know. But the uh, the cowling is in uh, in clear plastic. How about that? Looks very nice. Very nice. Good detail. So yeah, I guess if you want to see the detail of the engine, there you go. So now we have... Looks like these are barrels for the guns, I would imagine. Metal, I don't know, little metal rods, but they're different lengths. We have a couple of rubber rubber tires. That's pretty neat, they're vinyl tires, but still, that's pretty neat with the tread pattern in it. I like that. Mm. Well, our photo etch, I'm having trouble getting it out. So here's the uh, instruments, the clear transparency piece with the transparency that's got the instruments on it. They look really good. And then just a few photo etch parts. And finally, well, why do I want to open the decals? So it looks like we've only got markings for one aircraft, but that's fine. That's number 50. Um, that's easy enough. I can get aftermarket decals, or I'm sure I can come up with what I'm after, which is the number three. Um, but other than that, those look fine. So all in all, it's it's a trumpeter kit. <laughs> we'll see how the fit is, but it has a lot of parts, and the detail seems to be very good. And this should build into a good replica to represent a Medal of Honor aircraft. So, with that said, thanks for joining us today, folks, and we'll see you again next week on The Stash.